Hello and welcome to our tutorial. Um, so in this tutorial we're going to use uh, DaVinci Resolve and we're going to do some editing. And we're going to make um, hopefully some uh, something interesting. Um, I'm going to start with making, uh, so we're going to make a thing called an animatic. So I just want to show you what an animatic is. Um, so uh, this is going to be my project here, but before I do that it's going to open up uh, so actually let's uh, there we go so this is my storyboard uh, for a film that I made a little while ago um, now the X's going through them are as I made each shot I kind of marked off that the shots were completed um, so you get a, an idea of you know page one page two so these are all the different um, shots and I swapped these ones here and um, anyway they give you an idea of uh, uh, sort of the quality of the sort of the hand drawings so they're, they're quite crude and they're just to give me an idea of what I was making so an animatic is normally when you take your storyboard for your film and let's say your film the pieces that you're making are about a minute long so you're going to take them and you're going to um, you know, you're, you may have 15 shots, you may have 10 shots so you'll have you know an equal number of drawings and you're going to take them um, and obviously turn them into your film but before you do that you should take the drawings and make them into um, a short piece so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to um, So I'm going to go to uh, this um, uh, folder here. Now I'm actually going to drag these in. It, it's loading it as an image sequence, all the images that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my folder here and I'm going to drag each shot in. So shot one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to bring them all in one by one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pretend, um, because it's just an exercise, that these are my uh, storyboard drawings. And we're going to make an edit uh, from these still images. And that edit is going to be to kind of test the um, the pace of my film. And. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight. The other thing I'm going to bring in is um, the audio, and all of these, uh, all this material, is going to be loaded up into the drive, into the resource folder that we all have, so that you can access all of this. I'm going to bring this in as well. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So, what we have here now in our uh, media window, so I'm in the media tab here. So I've just found my folder and dragged stuff in and in this instance as I said I've dragged them in from Windows Explorer directly. So I've got all my images sitting in here in um, my media window. Uh, we're going to go um, edit now. So I'm going to click on the editing tab down the bottom and I'm literally going to go to shot number one. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the timeline and before I go any further, I'm going to put in my music, which is this piece here. Now, I'm going to take that and put it on my timeline. And then go back to it. Now, when you're in Resolve, you've got a plus and minus here. So this is your zoom. So you can zoom way out. So this is our first clip here. And then we can zoom in on it. And when it zooms in, it zooms in on this play bar. So if I zoom in now, I'll zoom in on the place where the play bar is. If I zoom out, move the play bar back to the beginning, I'll zoom in on that. So there's shot one. And we're going to bring in all the shots. So there's 27. There's shot two. And shot three. 
Now you can see I've got video 2 here and video 1. I can create as many video lines as I want. So I can take this shot 3 here and I can lift it up and then suddenly I've got video 3. Now there is no video 4 at the moment but if I literally lifted up one of these I'd have video 4. Now I have no need to do that. So I'm just keeping it at video 1 and 2 and I'm going to offset them so I can see where each one ends and each one begins. So we're just going to imagine that these are our drawings. So you'll probably uh, draw by hand uh, onto a piece of paper and then you will um, probably use your phone to take photos of them of the images that you've drawn um, and then bring them in to resolve and uh, arrange them on the timeline like this and this is how um, you'll kind of get a sense of the pace of your film um, 13 and 14 so nearly there now I'm just putting them on, I'm not actually uh, trimming them at all yet in terms of their duration. Uh, so at the moment, uh, and we'll have a look, each uh, shot is exactly the same length. And of course, if we were to make a film where all the shots are exactly the same length, it wouldn't be a very interesting film. So shortening the shots can create tension, it can create kind of pace. So if, you, if someone's chasing somebody, um, can make something very fast. Um, it's 27 and 28 must be at the top, is it? Okay, so I was going to back to Windows Explorer here and find out where 28 is. So I mustn't have brought 28 in. So I can go back to media here. I'm going to bring one more picture in, which is this one here, which is picture 28. And then all the way to the end of my timeline and drop in number 28. That's the last frame. So that is the cloud 3. So, um, let's zoom out a little bit. So all I've really done is just dragged and dropped. And <clears throat> creating an animatic is just a um, like I said, it, it's to give you an idea of um, the pace of your film. Normally what I would do, if like these are all drawings, I would record my voice as well, saying the lines. I wouldn't be putting on accents or doing it funny, but just to try and get an idea of how long each shot should be. Normally when there's uh, dialogue, shots tend to be much longer. So you can think uh, or imagine something playing out quite quickly but once people start to talk the shots tend to be much longer um, and therefore you have to you know um, adjust the pace of your film uh, accordingly so I'm going to turn the volume of this down this piece here and there's an entire um, audio system here in um, called Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve which we will look at later on in the year and we'll do lots of editing in this. Um, it's quite a powerful um, uh, audio editing suite all by itself. Uh, we'll be doing some color correction in it. Um, not today, uh, but um, we'll do that later on. And now we're going to just look in this video here, we're just looking at editing. So I'm going to press play. And so I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit on the waveform. I want to make that a bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click on this icon here and it says thumbnail view and it says track height. So I'm going to make this bigger uh, and that way I can see peaks and troughs in the wave and then consequently I can um, pause my um, my uh, playhead on a certain point and then cut on that beat so you can hear sort of a, a high snare so that um, is when I'm going to cut okay and so let's just play through for a second or two
so I'm going to move this back to here and bring this shot back as well so I'm going to cut this one on that tom beat there now I have no accompanying um, dialogue with this but you can see that the process is um, you know fairly interesting and fairly um, you know if you had a shot with dialogue it would be longer if you had a chase sequence you might have it much much faster etc so what I want you guys to do um, while I'm not there in class is I want you to download these stills and arrange them on your timeline and try and either pick a different piece of music or using this piece of music here to arrange them um, to a pace that you think is appropriate now and then as a reference um, so this is uh, Chrome and I have uploaded this here so this is 2 minutes 35 seconds So you can watch through that yourself, but you get the idea. Um, so this is yeah, this little short film I made ages ago, um, and you you'll get an idea of the pace of it. Um, it oops, it ends. So um, it's actually just just over two minutes I think from first shot so um, what, and you feel free to download the video um, and take the audio off it and actually use the voiceover if you want so there's a voiceover that goes continuously throughout it um, but what you've got here are the kind of component parts and what I'm looking for you to do is try and build up sort of a, have a some of the sequences are of um, people running and chasing some of them are slower people kind of pondering and thinking what to do so these all of these clips should not be the same length so you can double click load them up in here and at the moment each clip um, oops so each shot uh, defaults to five seconds I think it's five is it So um, it's up to you then to decide which, like how long each shot should be. And then when you're doing your animatic for your own film, you should be doing the same. So if you have 10 shots in yours, you'll have 10 images here in the timeline. You'll lay down your voiceover or your you know, rendition of the, the dialogue, and then you'll put in your piece of music uh, or your sound effects that you think are appropriate. And then try and get a timing uh, for your film um, in advance of you actually uh, making the film. So this will be one of the projects you'll be doing for me just shortly after Christmas is to storyboard your film, place it on the timeline uh, in storyboard format and uh, put a voiceover and uh, music on it so that you have a timed version of your film before you actually go out and shoot it. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, when you are finished um, I'll show you how to export. So this is obviously not um, a finished oops, uh, article here so I can select all them and just move them down um, so we will spend quite a bit of time in Resolve editing um, so you'll get used to this very quickly if you're not used to it already so uh, media is where we import edit is where we edit 
color correction and audio and then deliver is where we export so everything we've put on our timeline arrives here and then what we want to do is um, select our settings here so we'll export it as a QuickTime movie it's going to be HD um, leave it at 24 frames a second our file output so you give it a name so you know um, call it animatic and then you can decide you know render it out to the desktop if you want so you can click here and select your destination and then when you're happy with your um, that you've given it a name and given it the right location and then you're happy that you've set the the resolution now I would suggest that you don't use that compressor that you use this one the one that we use most frequently which is h.264 uh, and then from there just hit add to render queue so this is going to send it over here so you could have five or six different uh, things in the queue add to render queue oh I haven't given it a destination so I just for now I'll say G and go OK and then if you want to create this file export the file you just hit start render and it will start rendering out now I'm going to stop it because I don't need this file but um, it'll render this out for you okay and then you'll have an exported file so mine is here uh, the one that I stopped so I'd say your finished product will be about 200 meg um, if you've, your timeline is the same duration as mine alright so um, that's what I'd like you to do and um, then we'll review this uh, on Monday.